Hi, I'm Fiona Bradshaw. I ran the online beginners workshop in English club dancing earlier today for the Virtually Shrewsbury Folk Festival 2020. I want to say a big thank you to everyone who came to the workshop. Um, it was really great to see you all giving clogging a go and I hope you had as much fun as I did. Uh, I want to say a special thank you to everyone who commented at the end. There was really nice comments um, and particularly from the guys from Australia and America and Scotland. It was so nice you letting us know that you are viewing from there. This is the absolute benefit of a virtual festival so it's great to know that you are uh, viewing from all around, all across the world. Um, now I promised that the workshop would be available um, on YouTube afterwards. Unfortunately our recording didn't work so I'm here to give you a slightly abridged version of the workshop now. Um, I will start off with a demonstration of the dance that we learned today and then I'll break it down again um, so you can relearn it or practice it um, or take away steps and make up your own dances or whatever you want to do with it. Um, you can even learn the tune. We have Nick Cook here today on the Melodeon um, who is playing a tune called Leaky, written by Nick Cook. Can you even duck down the hip and say hi? <laughs> um, uh, so, and you're welcome to learn the tune as well. Um, so we're learning a beginner's hornpipe today. I think in the workshop we decided to call it the Virtually Shrewsbury Hornpipe. Um, and it was uh, put together by myself, especially for this workshop. Um, so it would be great to see people dancing this um, all across the world. Um, so I'm going to start off with a demonstration of the dance, uh, and then we'll break it down bit by bit from then on. So we're going to break that down now. So I'm going to start off with um, teaching the basic components of the first bit and then we'll turn that into the first step. Then I'm going to teach some more basic components and then we'll do the steps two and three. And I'll show you how that whole dance goes together, including the slightly more advanced version at the end. So we'll start off with the basic components. Um, so I'm wearing clogs, which are hard soles, leather tops. If you have clogs, great. They um, naturally rock you forward onto your toes, but if you're not wearing clogs, it doesn't matter, you can still dance. Um, it just means that you need to um, bend your knees yourself because your shoes are going to do it, sort of push you into it. Um, so you want to be dancing on your toes with bent knees so that your body is upright. Um, and try and keep your toes upwards, because as you can see there's a natural um, curve to the clog that keeps your toes up off the ground so that when you hit the floor with this part of the foot it's nice and crisp um, so you don't want 
muffled shuffles happening by your toes being too far, uh, too low to the ground. So you try and keep your toes up. Um, that really helps out with getting a nice clear sound. So again, we're going to be dancing on our toes all the way through. If you need to put your heels down to steady yourself whilst learning, that's okay. But please do remember um, to be on your toes because it does make it a lot easier when you're dancing the steps. Um, so the first steps we're going to do is a, what we call a step. So you step onto your left leg and you put all your weight on that, um, which frees up your right leg. And then we can do a tap on the right. So a tap we don't put our weight onto it. You lift the foot back up again, so you just make the noise of a tap and lift back up again. Then it's free for you to switch and put your weight onto that one for the next step. And then we can do a tap with the left leg. So we step on the left, tap on the right, step on the right, tap on the left. And then we can keep doing this. So we're going to do that to the music um, and I'm then going to shout out what to do next because we're going to use, so we're using this part, the ball of your foot for your taps, then we're going to use the tip of your toe for your toes behind and then we're going to use the edge of your heel for a heel in front. So we're going to do this to the music um, and I will call out when to change to the different parts of our feet. So those are the main components that we are building our first step from. Um, now when we do a clog dance, it's usually compiled of a number of steps. So not, not just the step steps, but um, a series of steps linked together, which we call a step, and step one, step two, step three. Um, and in those steps, we often have um, the main bulk of the step, which changes for each step and then we'll have a small section at the end um, called a break which a lot of the time and is true for this dance repeats at the end of each step so we have the first bit that changes and then the break at the end um, that repeats throughout so I'm going to teach step one and then the break and that break bit repeats for all three steps so step one starts off with four of the step taps that we've just done. Step, tap, step, tap, step. Followed by four of the toes. Toe, step, toe, step, toe, step, toe. Then it gets a bit more tricky because we're going to do one of each. So we go step, tap, and then this time when you step onto your right leg, and you do the toe behind on your left leg. So we do the step, tap, from the left and then the step toe from the right. So we go step, tap, step, toe, step, tap, step, toe. But instead of doing it all on the same leg, we're going to switch so we can do one on the other leg. And in order to switch, instead of doing a step, we're going to do a hop because that changes uh, which leg our weight is on. So we do a, one of these, we go step, tap, toe and instead of stepping onto the left leg we do a hop on the right leg so that that then acts as the step of the next rotation on the other leg so we can do our tap on the left then you step toe put the toe on your right so we've basically done a step tap step toe but instead of starting from a step because we already had our weight on that leg we've done a hop So all of that together, we go step, tap, step, toe, hop, step, tap, step, toe. 
do that again. We go step, tap, step, toe, hop, tap, step, toe. Okay. Don't worry if you haven't got it right now because you'll have plenty of chance to practice that throughout the dance. Um, and I'll just teach the break now and then join it together and you'll see how it fits together. So this is the break, which is the bit that gets repeated um, in each of the steps. So this is the break. We do the heels that we were, uh, the heels that we did in our um, exercises at the beginning. So we do a step, step on the left again, step, heel, then step on the right and a heel, and then a step on the left again, followed by another step where we can bring our feet nice and close together. So we're going to swivel and do a little click with your heels. So this is where it's important to be on our toes so that your heels are free and you can swivel. This is a lot easier in clogs, but don't worry if you're not in clogs. It is possible if you're standing on your toes, um, but just do what you can. Please do not damage yourself. If anything hurts, stop. Um, if you're really struggling, uh, get yourselves a pair of clogs. Um, but you should be able to do it without. Um, so the break goes step, heel, step, heel, step, step, hip, and again, step, heel, step, heel, step, step, hip. So we've just learnt that with a step at the beginning, but um, in the same way as the section that we've just learnt before, we, our weight is already on the leg that we want to do the first step on, so we're going to start it with a hop. So instead of stepping on your left, we've already got our weight on the left, so we start with hop, heel, step, heel, step, step, kick. And again, weight's on the left, we go hop, heel, step, heel, step, step, kick. So if we put these two sections together, so this is the end section of step one, straight into the break. It's the step, tap, step, toe, hop, tap, step, toe, and then we hop into the break. So I'll demonstrate that. Step, tap, step, toe, hop, tap, step, toe, hop, heel, step, heel, step, step, kick. Okay, so we'll try that all together. Uh, two, three, four. Try that to music. straight into the break so we're going to add that on to the beginning of step one which is our four step taps and four step toes to the music So that's all of our step one. Okay, so we're going to learn the components of steps two and three. And so this is, um, instead of doing a step tap, we do a step tap tap. Then we'll move on and do a step toe hop toe, and then a step heel step heel. So I'll show you what those look like. Okay, so this is the step tap tap. This step tap tap. Step tap tap. So it's the same as we were doing before with the step tap, step tap, but we're doing a double tap. So this action is mostly in the ankle, 
you have a slight bit of movement with the leg but it's mostly the ankle and the toes coming up so we tap twice in the same spot and the toes come up in between and that's quite a lot of ankle movement going on there so you do step tap tap and the same one with the leg okay let's see that again we go step tap tap step tap tap the next bit is the toes so this time instead of just doing step toe we're going to go step toe hop toe so we go step on the left toe behind then a hop on the left another toe behind okay so that again we go step toe hop toe then we have this right leg it's free so we can step onto that and do the same on the other leg so left toe behind hop on the right left toe behind so both of those together we go step toe hop toe step toe hop toe and the last bit is the heels so instead of just going step heel step heel we're going to do a step heel step which involves putting our weight on the heel just very briefly. So you step on the left, as you do your heel with the right, you put your weight onto it and lift your le uh, left leg up in the air so that you can then do a another beat with that foot. So it's step, heel, and then step again with your left foot. So again, this is a lot easier with clogs because um, so they've got a nice heel for you to dig into the floor and put your weight onto. If you're not dancing in clogs, um, you might still be able to do it. If not, just place your foot in front. Um, again, you don't want any injuries, so you might be able to do it for a short time and then um, it starts hurting too much. We'll just do it as a flat foot. But if you do have clogs on, you should be able to get that move nice and easy. You can try that on both legs. So that together is step, heel, step, step, heel, step. So we're going to try all three of those, step, tap, tap, step, toe, hop, toe, step, heel, step, to the music. Step, tap, tap, to start. Okay. So that's our rhythms that we're going to be using for the next two steps and so that's the core movements but we're going to make them slightly more interesting to watch so we just make them a little bit more fancy but the rhythm and those movements stay the same we just adjust them very slightly. So the first one is the step tap tap and we're going to turn this into a shuffle so instead of two taps on the spot when we pick our toe up in between, we're going to do the first one slightly out in front and the second one slightly behind. So we've done our step on the left and then we go tap, pick up in front, tap, pick up behind. So again we go step, in front, behind. And again, step, in front, behind. So this is also called a shuffle. So we go step, shuffle. And again, step, shuffle. And then the same as before, we can step onto that right right leg and do the shuffle with the left. So step, shuffle, step, shuffle. So again, let's get that ankle moving on your left. But when you pick up in front and pick up behind, that's when it turns into a shuffle. So we've got step, shuffle, and again, step, shuffle. So we can do those together. So we go step, shuffle. And on the right, step, shuffle. And again, left, shuffle. On the right, step, shuffle. So that's that.
that's how we make the steps all fancy, we turn them into shuffles. Um, now we're going to make the toes fancy and all we do here is instead of just doing toe hop toe with the toes straight behind, we do the first one out to the side and the second one crossed in behind. So when we step on the left, the toe goes out to the right. So we go step, toe, hop, toe. Step on the right and the toe goes out to the left. Toe, hop, toe. So that together we go step, toe, hop, toe. Step, toe, hop, toe. So that's made our toes fancy. So the last one is the heels. So to make the heels look fancy, we swivel them and turn them into swannies. So instead of just going step, heel, step, so as well as putting our weight on our heel, we're also going to swivel it. So when we put our heel down, we need to angle it towards the centre of our body so that we can swivel outwards. So this is when you step on the left, you angle your right foot in with your weight on the heel, you swivel it. So whilst you're picking up your back leg, you swivel it out. So it's a step, swivel, step. Okay, so step on the left, heel and swivel on the right, step on the left. And then the same the other way around. Step on the right, heel and swivel out. Sorry. <laughs> step on the right, put your heel so it faces in to the centre of your body, swivels out with your weight on it, and then another step on your right. So step, heel, step. Again, step, heel, step. And these are called swannies, so let's do those together. Left and right, we go step, heel, step, step, heel, step, step, heel, step, step, heel, step. So that's our steps, our toes and our heels made fancy into shuffles, um, out in toes and swannies. So let's do that to music. So that is all the components of our steps two and three. So let's put together our step two. And this starts with some shuffles, and then we're going to do the toes, then some more shuffles, and then put our break on the end. So if you remember our break, we're going to stick that on the end. So let's give that a go. Um, we do step, so we start on the left again. So we do our step shuffle, step shuffle. So step shuffle, step shuffle. Then we do our step toe hop toes. Step toe hop toe, step toe hop toe. Then our shuffles again. And then our break, we go step, heel, step, heel, step, step, click. Let's try that to music. So we already have our components for step three as well, so this time we're going to do shuffles and then our swannies, then more shuffles and then the break. So it's the same pattern, we just swap in the swannies instead of the toes. So let's try that straight to music. Same 
have our steps one, two and three. So to fit it to the music where um, we have two sections of the A music and then two sections of the B music um, and we've done three steps, I'm going to put step number one again on the end because it's awesome. So we're going to do step one, two, three and then step one again at the end. So let's give that a go to music. This time step tap. So that's the whole of the basic version of the dance. We did have some people in the workshop that found that way too easy and wanted a little bit more of a challenge. So the next bit for that is we keep the same steps but we just um, substitute in a slightly more, well, faster version, I suppose. So we swap the step shuffle for a step shuffle, step step shuffle. So I'll show that to you. So in place of the step shuffle, we're going to fit a lot more beats in and we speed up that shuffle. So instead of just going forward, back, we need to do it a lot faster, which involves a little bit more of a, a flurry from your leg. So we want the same control, so still pick up your toes, but it needs a little bit more of a, a boost to get there because we're doing it nice and quick. Um, so it's the shuffle bit more of a flop out but with that same control of coming back so we've got oh, ignore that heel we've got forward and back still but a little bit faster so that's something to practice and I'm just getting that movement of a slightly looser ankle but to get that same crispness, especially if you've got clogs on, you'll be able to hear if you've got nice whoop, crisp sounds coming out. Um, so we do a step shuffle, then step onto our right and step onto our left as well. So it's two little steps so that our right leg is free again for another shuffle. So we do the step on the left to start, step, shuffle on the right, step on the right and a step on the left another shuffle on the right so the timing goes step shuffle step step shuffle and again step shuffle step step shuffle so our right leg is in the air so that we're able to do it on the left leg as well so step onto the right do your shuffle on the left our step step and our shuffle on the left so all that again step onto the right right shuffle so both of those together, we go step, shuffle, step, step, shuffle, step, shuffle, step, step, shuffle. So that goes in place of the shuffles. The um, toe out and in step, if you want to make that a little bit more tricky, we can add in an extra toe hop. So you do three of them, so it's instead of going step, toe, hop, toe, we go step, toe, hop, toe, hop, toe, hop. So that's what this looks like. Instead of going step, toe, hop, toe, we go step, toe, hop, toe, hop, 
go hop. So bit three toes in. The same again. Step, toe hop, toe hop, toe hop. And again, off the other leg as well. So step on the right. Step, toe hop, toe hop, toe hop. So both of those together. Step, toe hop, toe hop, toe hop. Step, toe hop, toe hop, toe hop. Toe hop. So the break is going to stay exactly the same. But let's try that step. So with the extra shuffles and the extra toe hops. And um, let's try some music. Step three, we do our swannies, so we can switch in the faster shuffles again, so replace the step shuffle with the step shuffle, step step shuffle, and with the swannies, instead of doing two swannies, we can fit four in. So let's give that a go to the music. <laughs> So that was a bit of a jump up to that. Um, so if you're struggling again, don't worry, you can watch this again, have another go. Um, but otherwise, let's go for it. Let's do um, both of those two steps together. So step two and three, the advanced versions. So again, we would keep the first step the same. So do first step, second step advanced, third step advanced, and then the first step again. Um, so let's give that a go um, to finish off with, and then we'll straight away, we'll go back and do the basic version again. So we're going to do step one, step two advance, step three advance, step one, and then step one again, step two basic, step three basic, step one again to finish. Um, and then we'll stop there.
and that was the whole dance. So that was the Virtually Shrewsbury Hornpipe. Um, and I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you very much for watching. And I hope you to see you all next year at Shrewsbury Festival 2021. Thanks very much.